and somehow he sort of juggles it up in the air, and the the Reds, I almost called him the old name because I grew up <laughs> the doing commanders. This, the commanders. DB just t- snatched it right away from him. Well, it's Buffalo. Just, that's the Buffalo. That's Buffalo. It's the Minnesota. Buffalo play, it, and and it, it's it's partially just bad luck. It it's is the bounce of the the oblong football. I don't know what it's going to do because it's a weird shape and it kind of goes up in the air, and all of a sudden Washington comes down with it, and it's a huge play because it's a momentum crusher and builder for the visiting team, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's go to the egregious miss face mask play. This is early in the fourth quarter. This is a short completion to Dallas Goddard. If we could see what happened. And I don't know if we have the There's a side angle. judge right there. There's a back judge. And don't nobody throw the flag. Skip, Here I mean, how, I mean, come on. How, look, look, he's standing right there. He's yeah, I'm looking, a back judge. I, I, That's well, your judge. I mean, what are you looking at? Did you Get, just look at the side freeze? Judge. Did you freeze? Look at the side judge. How could you? We got we got one ref staring it down, staring it down. It is as hard a grab and tug as I have ever seen yes. on a face mask. It's not, you know, sometimes you get a little piece and, and you, you, you let try to go. let yeah. go. But he grabbed and he yanked. Yes. He yanked. It was a dangerous yes. play because the neck comes into play right. on that one. Yes. But, and, and Goddard stayed down for a couple of minutes. I thought he was hurt. This week, Skip, was not the ref's no, finest it moment. Was not. It was brought to their attention that they had Buffalo had 12 men on the field um, on one of the plays that they stopped Minnesota. Uh, 12? How can you not catch that? <laughs> Listen, I, I tweeted about this last night. This is our greatest spectator sport. Mm-hmm. This is the game you and I love the most. We love the NBA, but, but we're, this, this is it, man. This, this is America. Yeah. And you, you, you have to be better than that. Yeah. They did. They had a bad weekend. And culminating with that that play last night, it's a game changer because the score is still it, it's twenty three to twenty one Washington Correct. at that point. Yes, and th- th- it just felt like they they couldn't stop Philly, but Philly hadn't had the ball very right. much. In fact, it, it got to be mid third quarter, and Philly had had the ball for seven and a half minutes to thirty seven minutes. Correct. Well, well, that's just that, that's <laughs> that's almost impossible. But they had pulled that off. Right. So now early in the fourth quarter, if if that gets called and you tack on 15, 15, well, okay, here you go. And I don't doubt that they're going to go down and score. I just don't have any doubt because I, I believe in Jalen mm-hmm. Hurts. Okay? So that, that's just – it's a bad break. It's, it's a badly missed call. It, it, it's a crusher on the momentum. And that leads to the play that you brought up. And it's the Quez Watkins play. Let's see it one more time. It's a nice throw by Jalen Hurts. I'm not saying it's the greatest throw ever, but it's good enough that he could keep skip running it, with yeah, it. Yeah, Skippy, just run just up on it. It's good enough. Just, just catch it and run. Skip, yeah. Why did he leave his feet? Because he doesn't trust himself. It's, it's, you, you know what? We saw it with Scotty Miller, yep. and I'm not comparing Scotty Miller to Quez no. Watkins because Quez is better. But, yeah. but I'm just saying Scotty Miller has to leave his feet on a ball that nobody's around right. to, to guard. You know, like, it, you can just – you can Wait, back into the end zone. You saw it the week before in the end yeah, zone. I know. He, he jumped, jumped. a ball that's going to hit him right here, and he jumped to catch it in his bread back. Because cause you're, you're jumping like, I'm going to max out my chances of trying to cling to this football. Mm-hmm. And Quest said, uh-oh, it's Monday night football. It's under the lights. Yep. We're coming back. We're coming back. I got to make sure I catch this when I secure it, and I'm going to go to the ground to secure it. Which he did, yeah. but unfortunately, he jumps up because he, he might still be running if he just catches it, yeah, runs Yeah, he's running in, but it's a touchdown. Okay, but he jumps up, and at least he could have gotten it down to the 20-ish. And you know what happened? As you said, the DB never, he didn't go down. He just <laughs> he just trailed him and I, stripped him. I, I think Quez forgot that, you know, damn, I went to the ground. The DB didn't go to the ground. He's going to be right there. And at that point in time, what else, what, what else do I have to do? Tackling, and, tackling him is not enough. Let me see if I can chop and get the ball out. Well, he chopped. And got the ball out. And, and he pretty much chopped Phillies, you know, what off, because that, that was the end of that. Yes. That, that was – that that crushed them psychologically, and then finally, I hope we have the. Do we have the Brandon Graham play? I I forget. I don't I don't think I request it. But but at the end, it yeah we do have it. Let's let's see it quickly. What is, he, what is Graham thinking? Scott? I, I don't know. He's a 13 year veteran. He's over amped. He's trying to get Jalen the ball back. And and he he said after the game, I thought he might jump up and run. He can. He gave he himself he up. He gave himself up. And the ref is trying to. I don't know if he'd actually blown the whistle, but he's waving his arms. Yes. And. And then the, the other problems, according to the ref after the game, that's the head referee, that, that Brandon Graham went to the head and neck to, yeah. to make sure he 
yeah. kept him down. Brent, if, if that's the case, so when a quarterback's running and sliding, you think he can pop back up? No. He gave himself up. He, he, he just gave himself need, up. Need to ground. He Basically, all he did was give himself up behind the line of scrimmage yeah. as opposed to sliding past the line of scrimmage. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm like, bro, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? And, and everybody, Philly, the Philly, obviously Philly fans, and on the Serion, and I see Jalen that had Jalen Hurts, he's like, you got to be – no. No. That's the rule. The guy gives himself up, Skip. It's just like anything. If I'm a wide receiver, I can give myself up. I can catch a pass and go take a knee. I gave myself up. You can't touch me. If Brandon Graham was in his first or second year, you'd say, oh, well. Yes. But, but he's 13 years, and, and he had a big Super Bowl game against Brady. Yes. Remember, he was all over. Yeah. He sacked Brady at the end of the it game. Was, it was a strip sack. Yeah, it was a strip sack. So I think they all were over amped trying to get Jalen the ball back because they do believe in him. And I think they thought with a couple of minutes left, he could go make yeah. a miracle yes. and pull it out. It's going to be like 140 left on the clock, use a timeout. So yeah. you got 140 to come possibly go down the field, score a touchdown, and you're in the lead. I would have liked their chances. Yes. And he crushed their chances, and it was over the moment he t- he he ran into little Taylor Heineke, <laughs> and that was the end of that thing. And and Jalen went on the bench, just went crazy. I can't even repeat some of the things he was screaming yeah. because he knew there went nine and zero, there went whatever and zero. Skip, the longer you leave a mediocre team in a game, the more confidence they're going to get. The Eagles are not supremely talented enough. The reason why they were 9-0 is because, as you mentioned, they had three turnovers in their first eight games. They turned it over three times. They had taken away. They, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Skip, they were plus 15, plus 16. They were leading in, in, yeah. in the takeover in, in battle. In both takeaways and the, the and, turnover and, and ratio. Yeah. So mm-hmm. when you look at it like that, you leave a team in. And the, trust me, I know. We played the Giants. We 13-0, Skip, on the road. Yep. Here we are in the third quarter, and it's a nip-tuck ball game, as opposed to us going here and handling our business. And look at that. Oh, man, we ain't got they, – man, they too tough. We go to the fourth quarter, guess what? It's a nip-tuck ball game. They feel they still got a chance. Washington on a Monday night, hold on. We got the lead. Yep. Man, it's less than two – man, it's less than three minutes. Which year did you lose that game? 98. Oh, so that was the – The second of the, second, second second of the back-to-back, okay. yeah. 13-0. Okay, and, and we have we been, you know, we, we kind of been skating. You know, we had to Kansas City. Do you remember what the score was approximately? I think we – Skip, we ended up getting the lead. And Kent Graham went 87 yards in three plays through like a 40 yard back for the Giants. For the Giants. Yeah. I think we lost 20, 21, 16, something like that. Okay. All right. So it was still. It was, it was clear we it was a close ball game. Yeah. But we were averaging like 33 points a game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, Skip, and we only got 13, 14. Okay. So that begs the final question here. A.J. Brown was quoted after the game as saying, I'm just glad that. 17 and 0 SH is over with. Yeah. Like we we need to focus now on yeah. what the, the next game at yeah. hand. So were you glad that that what would have been 16 and 0 SH was over with? Well, it would have been, it would have been 14 and 0. Skip. 14. We, yeah, okay. we we yeah. started at 13 and 0. All right. Skip, I, maybe it's just me, Skip. I didn't I did, for me, I we our goal was the Super Bowl. All this, you know, undefeated. Skip, Mike never, when, when we laid out the goals at the beginning of the year. Mike Shanahan. Mike Shanahan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He never said anything about 16-0. Well, who it would? Was, Skip, win your division. Yep. Get home field throughout. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we'll go from there. We took, we didn't even, I didn't even know who we were playing. Mike, we went, okay, we won the first game. And then the next week, that'd be the next opponent. He didn't have the whole schedule of everybody that we're playing. Yep. It was one week at a time. Okay. Four quarters. We tried to win all four quarters. I can't quarters. remember. Did you finish? Did, we finished 14 out? and 2. Okay. We went 14 oh, and 2. Who, you lost We lost the game. following week on Monday night to Miami. Oh, yeah. And then we came back, beat uh, uh, Seattle, uh, uh, the final game of the season. TD needed to get needed 177 yards yep. to get 2,000. Yep. So we got him back. Mm-hmm. We felt good going into, the, you know. And you had home. We had field. home field throughout. Now, Miami. Had beat us on that Monday night, Skip. You all saw how they were celebrating. Mm. Pat Sertan and, 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 and Dolly. Ma- I think no, it was it was no. It was T Buck, Terrell Buckley. Yep. It was Sam Madison. Yep. It was some. Oh, Skip. They, ooh, they was over there dancing. And I told T. I told the guy, I said, "We'll see him again." And we we'll see him again. And thirty-eight to three. Woo. Okay. There you go. You got a cold? No, nah, we'll see you again. I said, okay. where that dancing at? I said, ain't nobody, I said, hey, ain't nobody dancing there. Where the disco ball? I said, y'all was dancing. Remember that Monday night? Mm. Told y'all we'll see us again. Mm. <laughs> well, I wonder if the uh, Eagles will see uh, Washington again in the postseason. Well, they better, hope they, get, they better hope they get yeah. that big DT the way back. Washington's Jordan's playing. They're going to make the playoffs. Jordan Davis. 
Yeah. There's a reason why he 350 skipping goggles, <sighs> taking up a whole lane of traffic. All I know is that the door just got reopened. Guess what? And fire re-opened. chains about to close it. No. Watch your fire chains. No. And Ty, so you see what they try to do? They try to steal fire chains. You see the defensive players, what they did to Heineken? All the defensive players put all their chains on him. They can't steal five chains. They can't, can't steal it. five chains. No, that's the Vikings ritual. <laughs> it will not work. There's no magic for that <laughs> in Washington. But I was happy Eagles for Washington because something good happened. To him. They might need to do something for Dak. Uh, yeah. <laughs> y'all might need to do something for Dak. What y'all gonna do both for him? Sitting there at eight and one, He's off guys. The chain. Next up for these Philadelphia Eagles.